Hello, this is Greg Deckler, and welcome to DAX for Humans. In the previous episode, we covered our, how to construct a running total in DAX. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to do a calculation based upon previous row, which is a pretty common uh, kind of calculation you get into with things like mean time before failure and, and other situations. So, we're working with the same exact data model with the date column uh, that we worked with in the last video. Now, it's especially important with previous row to have something like an index or a date because you have to be able to define for DAX what is before something else. Okay, so what we have here is this is the previous value measure. So you can say we're using that same exact pattern where we create some VARs, we create a table VAR, we do some X aggregations across that table VAR. Uh, this one's a little more complex than the last two that we looked at, um, but it's not that really that complex at all. It follows the exact same pattern. So again, we're getting the maximum item, uh, which is just basically our, the current item in context. We're getting the current date in context. For our current value of total cost, all we, we just have to get the sum of the total cost of what's in context. And then what we do is we say, okay, we take our table var and we just set it to all table, just like we did with running total. Now here's where the magic happens. We first have to figure out what our previous date is. And we wanna do that per item. So we just do a max XX because we're only going to return one row out of this or we want, well, that's an incorrect. We want to return the maximum date um, that is less than the current date. And so to do that, we just do a filter across table where the item is equal to the item and the date is less than date. We grab the max X of that, which means we're getting the maximum date that is, uh, that is less than the current date in context. So once we have the previous date, we can then essentially look up the previous value of total cost. To do that again, we just do a filter across our table where the item equals the item and the date equals our previous date that we calculated. And we sum X across that for total cost. And finally, we can come down here to the result where we just subtract the current value minus the previous value. So when you see that in a table, what's going on here is that, so this is 8.97. Well, there is no previous. So the difference between this and the previous value is actually 8.97. It's the same thing for pickle. There is no previous pickle row because these are both the minimum dates that are in our date table. So again, it's 7.98. Now for this pickle row, actually 15.96 minus 7.98 actually happens to equal 7.98. Now a little more clear example is in banana row, we have 14.95 minus 8.97 gives us 5.98. And finally, in the grapefruit row, 14.97, there is no previous grapefruit row, and so it's 14.97. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.